Okay, so welcome to this uh, bonus section. Um, here I'm going to be talking about Docker as a development environment. And um, uh, the way that we've done it uh, so far in this course, it's been, we've been using this Cloud9 environment, which is kind of like a, it's, it's, it uses Docker actually, but it's kind of like our development environment on the, on the cloud. But um, there's, um, there's also a new technology called Docker that allows you to um, basically develop uh, applications using a very self-contained model um, within your your like your laptop or your computer. And the way um, you know the big thing about this is that you can be assured that if it runs in your computer locally, it will run on the um, on the target environment where you're going to run it. Either you know, uh, be it Amazon Cloud or Google Cloud or any other um any other uh, internet um service provider where you're going to run this application as long as the um the operating system on your container and that place where you're going to run this application uh matches and docker allows you to align those two very well so that um you have the, the guarantee that um that your application is going to run so i've decided to make this section because um there's a lot of uh, of uh, interest in the in the market right now, and uh, a lot of developers and a lot of companies are starting to use Docker because it it um, it makes a guarantee that applications are going to run, and uh, these applications are like little boxes, so you can um, deploy uh, you know hundreds of them um, using using this technology. So let's take a look at how uh, Docker works. And in, in the website itself, there's a, a pretty good explanation. So basically, um, <clears throat> these are the containers I'm, I'm you know, talking to you about. Like, they're like um, imagine little boxes that live in, in your computer. And um, um, normally when you want to run like uh, applications within your laptop that have a, let's say you want to uh, build on on Linux uh, or a specific Linux um, operating system version, for example, Debian or uh, Red Hat, normally what you do is that you have a kind of like you have your laptop and a you know host operating system, which is whatever the laptop runs, like Windows or Mac OS. And then you have some sort of like hypervisor, which is kind of like a layers for you to be able to run that Linux uh, flavor inside your machine. And this, this a lot of times it's kind of like, you know, virtual box or uh, some other, uh, you know, parallels um, for, for Mac. Um, and then you have your kind of like, basically your applications and your libraries on top of that. So it's very clunky because let's say if you want to simulate that you have a database server and a, an application server, like in our, in our blog application, we have the two, right? So what would happen is we would have to be uh, kind of running, um, you know, that Linux um, operating system on on the virtual box, and then your MySQL application, and then your your application itself for for managing, uh, you know, MySQL, and then you have the blog application with Flask and all that, and then that makes your machine like run very slowly, and people don't don't like to do that. So what Docker does is that you have your machine and you have your operating system. It can be Windows or, or Mac OS. And then you have this Docker engine. And the Docker engine is kind of like a, a, um, a, a, a layer of abstraction for the operating system that then allows you to run many applications uh, as if they were like boxes, like actual, you know, different servers. But instead of having, see how you have the guest OS in each one of these? Uh, which is the one, the, the thing that runs a lot of um, of the memory and, and, and performance, you don't have that in here. So the Docker engine takes care of that of that uh, layer of, of the operating system. And you can be running different operating systems even. You can have a Red, Red Hat box and then a, a Debian box and then, uh, you know, another Linux box. And, and it runs really, really quickly and without any problems.